Welcome to the wonderful world of cryptocurrency trading and hodling. Before you amass your fortune, which will then go to the moon, there are a few things you should know. First, don't day trade crypto. You'll probably lose money. Yeah, any off-the-cuff comment from a developer or politician can cause big price moves, especially yeah. if they don't know what they're talking about. And, and you can't predict those. There's just no way that you can predict those. And a bug in the code can cause a 50% drop we, we, just overnight. We, we've seen that with Bitcoin. And uh, I mean, then it spiked right back up. But yeah. Second, don't leave your crypto on the exchanges. Right. Especially uh, over time, exchanges are more likely to be hacked than you are. Uh, don't let it all be on your mobile device either. They have the worst security of all options. That's right. Mobile devices are the worst security. Treat it like your wallet, like your actual physical wallet. Yeah, like how much How much are you comfortable in having cash in your wallet should be about what you should have on your mobile device. Third, do use two-factor authentication if available. Avoiding uh, using public uh, a public computer or a computer you do not control. And this is just in general. I mean, if you use a library computer and log on, you might forget or type in that, hey, remember my password, and then... Uh, oh, you don't even know what's running on the background yeah. of the computer might be in the a first key place. Logger. You might have three or four computers at home, and you might want to limit the ones you use for crypto. Fourth, create a unique password for each exchange and back up your wallets. Yeah, not just the cloud. Create a physical backup, whether they are paper wallets, DVD burned with the backup files, or even a USB flash drive. That's my way I like to go, USB flash drives. Yeah. In, in multiple copies in different locations. Fifth, you ought to be aware of the laws and regulations in your local jurisdiction, even if you have no plans in adhering to them. This is a no-brainer. I mean, you, you need to be aware, and then you need to make the decisions on how you're going to comply. Sixth, diversify and hedge. So diversify the locations of your backups. Uh, you, know, you don't want to have everything in your home and then have a fire. This is especially important if you are the only one that knows how to access the crypto and you've made no accommodations. Should something happen to you, then keep in mind that's like digging a hole, putting money in it, and not telling the people that you want to use it where it is. Seventh, buy low, sell high means buy when the coin is low or down. Sell when it is up, especially if it is an all-time high. Now, this is a big one because this is like completely against the way psychology works in most people. Um, when you when you see a coin shooting to the moon, everybody gets really excited, and that's when people think they want to buy. Um, when when the coin goes down, it it just it, people get kind of depressed and they don't want to buy, and they even will sell. So uh, that's exactly the opposite of what you want to do. Ace, ignore the chat box and don't ask Reddit about investment advice. Seriously, <laughs> if you don't know what you ought to buy, don't buy crypto. This, this is the funniest thing. People get online. They ask, what do you think the price is going to do tomorrow? Well, like, and I think I, I'm, I'm somebody there that just kind of wants to answer them and make up an answer just because it's such a ridiculous question. I mean, the, the, the crypto space, it's filled with pump and dump actors. They're looking to build excitement for their coin. Please do your own research. Avoid flashy social media buzz. I mean, some people might give you an honest answer, but I mean, you don't know them. So yeah, just general critical thinking. Now, the, the ninth item is there. there's a lot of volatility. Hodling, which is a word I don't like and is not a word. Uh, <laughs> Hodling is not always the Hodl. best answer. It's not always the best answer. No, that's right. Especially if you bet your shirt. If you <laughs> bet your shirt, you're going to want to get that shirt out of there as soon as you can't afford to have it in there anymore. And there's going to be losers, and there's going to be some losers that lose hard. So this is still a new space. It's not, it's, it's not mature by any means. Nobody really knows how it's going to play out. That's right. And that brings us to our 10th point. You don't know what's going to happen. No one does. And, and in fact, if someone tells you they know what's going to happen, they're probably trying to sell you something so they make a profit. Right. They'll probably be the ones that sell it to you, too. If they yeah. know exactly what's going to happen, they don't need to tell you anything. They <laughs> right. can just take action on that That's right. information. Yeah. And they'll do better if, if they do it by themselves than have you go along with it. Now that we've covered those points, you're ready to head out into the world of crypto trading. Best of luck navigating the chaotic, irrational, and nonsensical waters of cutting-edge fintech. And one thing is using it. Using it. I like using it. Spend and replace. Because that's where the real value comes from. That's right. Well, there it is for you folks. These are some ide ideas and sort of philosophies to follow when you are doing your crypto trading. Of course, we are not giving you advice to buy or sell anything. In fact, we're actually giving you advice to not buy. <laughs> we're, we're telling you straight out, you should not participate we, yeah. in crypto trading. Number one was don't day trade. Don't day trade. <laughs> so don't buy or sell. No. <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, just know what you're doing. Thanks. Neocash Radio.